All right, okay. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Um, gosh, it's been a while since I've played this or uploaded a video or anything, but I need to try and get back into this. You know how it is. Life gets in the way. Um, yeah, so I think last time I finished by saying how I was going to talk about maybe religion and like the priests and stuff um, but I think I will get back to that when I actually come across and meet the meet the oracle uh, today I want to go back to the Persian Wars and just speak more about how Athens became such a strong power post Persian Wars and in particular today I'm going to talk about a battle that happens about a month after the Battle of Thermopylae and it's called the Battle of Salamis but let's load up okay let's actually try and see where I'm at um yeah wasn't I? Yeah, I'm supposed to go and talk to you. Anyway. I've also forgotten all the... Okay. Cool. How do I... Okay. How do I fight someone? Oh, here. Okay. New bow. Experience boost. Ah. Uh, Fine. Multiple items were added to your inventory. How do I? Okay. There's my quests. There's my inventory. What's new? I'm pretty sure some stuff has come up through the harvester of time. Yeah, I can't wear that yet. That's all the Hades stuff, isn't it? <gasps> Ornate bow. Look at that. Wow. Wow, I'm level 2 now guys, so I still can't wear anything cool. Oh, I can wear this though. Mercenary gloves. Go on then. I think this game has got some really nice outfits and things to customise. I might as well, like... Some of the outfits and stuff that I get later on looks so nice. And all of the downloadable stuff as well, but I don't have money for that yet. Okay, let's go and see what this is all about and then I can start talking about the Battle of Salamis. Which, by the way, is... Okay. Somewhere here, I think. Isn't this like Salamis somewhere here? <gasps> I don't know the maps. It's somewhere between like mainland Attica and the sea. <laughs> okay, I'm sure I can find it. I'm pretty sure it's like here no is it not hold on let me look it up where was Salamis yeah okay it's up here somewhere like yeah this this area so this battle that I'm talking about for the rest of this episode then it happens in this strait this part of the sea and you can already see it's kind of narrow which is going to be key 
اون قلمی اون نمی توتیه Kephalos isn't anyone amazing, by the way. I think he was just a warrior. Oh, how do I want to? Mm, I don't want to play as a dickhead. Oh, Cassandra, you startled me. Why are you looking for a champion? I need someone worthy to win the Spear of Kephalus. I've been deciphering some of the sanctuary stone carvings. They say the spear was hidden in the caves beneath Kefalonia when the temple was built. Mm. You could get it for me, couldn't you? I can give you a reward. Oh, what kind of reward are we talking about? If the spear is in the caves, I'll find it. Well, maybe you were sent by Kefalus. <sighs> Fine. I'll talk through this Cassandra, stuff. Surely you've heard this story since you were a child. I didn't mm, have much though. time for stories. Well, perhaps you didn't. But you know Kefalus founded Kefalonia and started the line of Odysseus. His spear was a gift from the gods. It was said never Is to that? miss its target. What? He must have hidden it in the caves after killing his wife with it. He threw a spear that wouldn't miss at his wife? He was hunting and heard her in the bushes. He thought she was a deer. It's a sad story. Sounds dangerous. Well, only if you throw it at someone. Right, why do you need it? What why are you, you gonna do? Spirit? Not thinking of becoming a soldier, are you? Of course not. But think how many people will come to the shrine if we have the Spear of Kefalus. With their donations, I could do so many things. Repair the sanctuary, feed the hungry families in Sami. So I'm pretty sure Odysseus's line is like... Deep in the caves beneath ...thoughts from Hermes. Of here. Maybe you can try that way first. That's not much to go on. You have so little faith in the gods. If Kefalus means for us to have the spear, you will find it. Fine. I'll see what I can find. Oh, thank you. I'll prepare a spot Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it goes like Hermes, Autologus, Laertes, Odysseus. I don't know where Kefalos comes from. So, you know. Ubisoft sort that out. It's over here, isn't it? Nope. To that. Ah, yes. The Melisani Cave. Oh yeah, I get to dive into that. That's fun. Okay, so let us now turn our attention. Oh, I didn't track it, but towards the Battle of Salamis. So the Battle of Salamis then, it happens in 480 BC. Um, and it's a pretty notorious naval battle, probably one of the most notorious naval battles in history. In which a very small Greek fleet defeated a much larger Persian Fleet, which you know is basically the story of of the Persian Wars. Really, it's a small Greek army defeating a much bigger um, Persian army. Okay, so yeah, so it happens in the Straits of Salamis, between the island of Salamis and the Athenian port by the Piraeus. So again, that's around here right so the port of Piraeus ah here it is okay this happens about there which is super narrow right okay so this battle takes place about a month after the Battle of Thermopylae and I think like history we like to use Thermopylae as an amazing example of Spartan warfare and you know the resounding success of this idea of collective good and this idea of um, 
like fighting for the state, right? Because it is a great example, right? Leonidas took his 300 Spartans and defended basically all of Greece. Oh, I'm just too slow. Go on, get him, get him, get him, get him. That's what I'm talking about. Where is it? I lost it. Fine. Yeah, anyway, so um, this idea of collective good about laying down your life for the good of the many. And yeah, the Battle of Thermopylae is an amazing example. And so it's very easy to get swept up in that success and forget that actually, like, the Greek city states, they lost that battle. They lost it badly, right? Like, there were about 2,000 soldiers maybe fighting. Um, and it ended up with about 300 odd Spartans and I don't know if there were Athenians but like 300 odd Greeks fighting in a small little area by Thermopylae um, and you know it was because it was such a narrow area that yeah Thermopylae was chosen as like a final stand for King Leonidas and that's great and all but the Greeks lost that badly the Persians were so successful actually that they took Boeotia and this basically left Attica open to an invasion right and of course um, the Greek soldiers that did escape they returned to Athens and basically the leader there, Themistocles, he evacuated the city, right? So all of the Athenians have now fled to Salamis, right? And so when the Persians arrive, they find basically, well, almost an empty Athens. There are like priests that stayed behind and boarded themselves up in the Acropolis which is like the famous Greek temple but of course the Persians don't care and they've decided to just burn Athens right to the ground right so it's a massive like Thermopylae is a massive loss we shouldn't forget that uh, okay Let's collect some goodies. I should try to stay out of sight. Oh, where are they? Where are they? I've forgotten how to do the sensor. Oh shit! Oh, great. How do I parry it? Not like that. Oh dear. <gasps> How do I run? I should have um, practiced. Definitely. No. No. How do I? Oh, crap. Why won't you? It looks like another messenger. Well, that's just terrible, isn't it? That's just so bad. Okay. Right, while well, this loads then. Um, so, yeah, so Athens is burnt to the ground. Most of the population is evacuated to that fairly small city of Salamis. And the Battle of Thermopylae and the Battle of Salamis, it's about only about a month apart from each other really. So not a lot of time has passed. Okay, let's let me get out of here. And practice how do I even
Hmm. Okay, I know how to do this. Come on then. Come on then. I'm over here. Come on. I would have sworn it came from here. Probably just a bird, but I'll check. A bird in a cave. This is why you die. A bird. Honestly. Nice. Oh, okay. Pretty easy there. Let's just collect them goodies. Actually, isn't there a different way out? Maybe not. Well, that's also not good because I didn't learn how to defend myself. You know what? The best defense is a good offense. Let's get out of here. Okay, so yeah. So the Persians have got a resounding success in Thermopylae, like I keep saying and banging on about. They've wiped out the Spartans there and they're slowly making their way towards the Greeks. And the Persians again are just not big fans of the Greeks, right? Because of their, well, their disobedience, their insubordination and their assistance during the Ionian revolts prior the Persian Wars. And Obviously, we've got Themistocles basically leading the Athenians, at least. And the Greeks, they decide to send some spies to the Persian camps just to see how big it is, what the threat is like, how they should prepare. Xerxes, <laughs> he catches these spies. But rather than, like, killing them, he shows them around and he scares them really I should where's okay yeah so he, he scares them because I mean he shows them the size of his army right and I think the Greek spies they report something like 1.5 million soldiers and something like 1200 ships that's massive, 1,200 warships compared to the Greeks, 300 odd. Cassandra, have you come back Ooh. to talk about this? Do fear? I give My it health. to her? Oh, good. Tell me, did you find it? You know what? You mentioned the reward. I need money. Oh, of course. You've certainly earned. Ooh, she didn't like that. <laughs> Cool, cool. What's... What's next? What's going on? An eye for an eye. Talk to Marcos. In order to pay his debts, Marcos hatched another get-rich-quick scheme. Steal from the Cyclops himself. He swore to Cassandra that if they had his obsidian eye, their problems would be over. Uh, I do want to fight this guy, but I'm not strong enough, so we'll come back to him. Where's my horse? Here you are. Oi, look at you. Looking fly. Look at your swag. Gee, 
Luis. Oh. Looking a lot better than me at the moment. Off we go now. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Dismount. Whoa. Not like that. Not like that. Oh, don't get no. Oh, that's not worth it. That was Ella. not worth it. Ella. Anyway, so yeah, so the Greek spies report, you know, 12,000, 12, 1,200 ships, one and a half million troops, and the Greeks are scared right what are they supposed to do so the Athenians they decide to send some heralds or you know some some geezers over to the oracle oh wow this horse is taking me but where are you going go. you stupid horse not even not even the right way This vineyard isn't even that nice. Oops. Do you know what? Maybe the horse is so stupid because I'm so stupid. Look at this guy, winding me right up already. Ah, here you are, and not a moment too soon. I've dealt with the bandits, and gotten the wood for the boyer. I had every confidence in you, my friend. Mm-hmm. Well, your plan? Right. The Cyclops and I have a score of track me to settle. The same score as you, my rough and tumble friend. Is that you true? after me if it wasn't for you, my friend. <laughs> hey, right. But... I swear, this will put an end to it. If he insists on sending his goons after us, we'll make sure his last good day was yesterday. We. <laughs> Keeps using this we. I'm sick and tired of this guy already. You know just how to hurt me, Cassandra. It's not that hard. Trust me. Think, what does the Cyclops value most? His men? His land? His ships? No, his obsidian eye. Get to the point, Marcos. Oh, fine. We're going to steal it. Are you crazy? We. This guy's a you joker. His drachme, then you steal his eye? Having it means we win. Then it goes to market. We kill two birds with one obsidian eye. <laughs> He'd better hold still. Or he'll lose both eyes. No, no. It has to be done without the Cyclops knowing. You cannot be seen. Then my new bow will come in handy. He keeps the eye in his house. It just it's won't, will it? to wear out. A wise choice until you show him the error of his ways. Wait for the sun to set, sneak in, and then bring me the eye. Better be worth something. Do you know how much obsidian goes for in Kefalonia? I've never Not seen a clue, it. Mate. Exactly. And not only is it obsidian, it's veined with gold. Gold! It's no wonder he saves it for special occasions. So we'll use the profits to pay him off. It will pay for the bulk of it. A vineyard's expensive, you know. What does it have to do I with don't know where the cyclops me? Lives. Keep to the west side of the island. There you will find his lair. Fine. Fine. But you won't get away with being cheap. Cheap? It's a good you thing the horse knows where Cassandra. to go, because... Is it the place. west? Bring me the eye I don't know where that is. You Remember, not a soul can see you. Got it. Pull this off, and our heads won't be the Cyclops' trophies when he comes back. 
What? I'm already in a fight. What? Yuck. Shark. Where is it? In west of the cursed valley of Pali. Who? What? Oh. What the hell? Very random. I still didn't. I still don't know where I'm going. Here, right? No. Here, I think. That looks like a. That looks like a house, mansion, dwelling. How to find the eye? If it's as valuable as Marco says. Hello, yeah, boy. Come on. Okay, that's on me. Oh, my horse is gone. Come on, buddy. Come on. So, back to Salamis. Can it just take me there? Yeah. All right, back to Salamis. So yeah, so the Greeks return from, no, sorry, the Greeks go to the Oracle. And the Oracle is pretty infamous for being very much in the way of advice. Ah. Where are we? Hello, I. I see you. Okay, but who else do we see? Trusty Icaros, here it is. Look at this. This is the finest that money can buy in Kefalonia. Do I have to... Do I want to kill everyone? That's the question. Right, much rather not, because I think the thing with at least Odyssey, I haven't played Origins, but at least Odyssey is that there's not many opportunities for stealth as there have been in previous Assassin's Creed games. Like I could just go in, swishing my swords around, and it would be perfectly okay. I would get killed for sure, like for sure. But I could just do it. I could just go in as a war as a soldier, as a warrior. I don't know, it's it is fun. But I guess if I wanted to sneak in it would be completely up to me to do that. So with that in mind, let's sneak in. Ask any questions. Let's keep they won't. Sight. I need cover. If I'm quiet, I can hide in the bushes. Marka, must be some eye to have that much protection. I have to stay out of view. Hmm. I didn't need to kill him, actually. You know? That's what I mean. Right, so the Greeks are at Oracle. They've asked, what should we do? Help us, O oh wise one. And bear in mind, the Oracle is supposedly the spokesperson of Apollo himself. That's tempting. 
the oracle yeah is the first person of apollo himself who is like the god of prophecies right come on get your head up no hmm not today where is it oh it's in there is it in there how do i get in there That's not how you run. Oh, and that's how I get in there. Maybe the bow will come. No. Not when they've got helmets on. Might have to try and sneak in another way. See, I can't talk and do this at the same time I'm just not clever enough I might actually just have to kill everyone do you know what they would kill me without even thinking about it Come on, eyes up. Honestly, that's not even on me. Shit. Come on, buddy. Wake up. feel like I can't take him on just yet Ooh. see I guess that's another thing is that there's just a lot of waiting around yeah. it's these guys in here that I need to actually deal with Is he even... I don't know. Probably. <laughs> Need to stop doing that. They didn't even notice their boy. Maybe he wasn't. There are no innocents in in war. They just walked right past him. Yelch. <gasps> nah, you ain't seen me. You ain't seen me. Yeah, you have. Come on. Stay right there. Victory! Who is that? Where has that come from? Ah, from him. Oh, come on. Oh, 
Oh, maybe that's how you do it. So yeah, see, so now, like, there's no consequences for not sneaking around. Oh, there's my horse. Andy. Son, get out of here. Fine, is that anybody still around? Doubt it. But yeah, I mean, you saw, I mean, you were just call the cyclops up wouldn't you you'd just be like mate someone's just snuck in and killed a bunch of us just to let you know but the game is the game let's just clean up here Anything else I can take? Oh yeah, I don't want to go out that way. Like I said, I don't want to kill people. Oops. <laughs> nope, where are you going? Let's get out of here, Let's buddy. Go. What does the oracle say to these Greek heralds? Well, it basically says, trust in your wooden walls, which is just not helpful advice, is it? What does that even mean? Trust in your wooden walls. Where are we going? Come on, man. And that prophecy, as all prophecies, was open to a lot of interpretation. Now Themistocles, our genius leader, he takes it to mean uh, the wooden ships, the triremes, right? But of course he's going to say that because he's been funding the creation of these triremes for ages. So he needs to, you know, make good use of that that money, right? Otherwise he's going to get kicked out. What? Nothing's happened. Oh. I should take care of that. Look at that. Taking the in initiative. Bang that on the CV. Okay, so yeah, so Tim Suckley suggests that this means ships. And of course he would because he's been hey, be using all the silver from the there? mines to build ships. What did I say about being seen? At least you taught them a lesson. All for a ah, he heard. Look. This rock could buy a house, my friend. And yet, oh, it's hence still the silos. <laughs> oh, don't be upset. Think of all the fun we've had. Okay, I guess there is a consequence if you don't sneak around. The Cyclops is going to kill us, Marcos. It's as simple as that. And there's nothing fun about it. This will Look at our muscles, I man. You. Would I lie to you? Don't make me answer that. Take the eye, but don't sell it yet. No vendor would believe we came by it lawfully. They know exactly who it belongs to. Fine. How, your how are you ever going to sell it? I think that's enough for one day. Quiere, Marcos. 
Quieres. Uh. This guy. Uh, okay. The eastern coast. Can you be more specific? I think they've settled in an abandoned house by a small forest south of Sami. Fine. So, if these visitors aren't from Kefalonia, where did they come from? All I know is Kefalonia will be the last place they'll ever see. Hmm, okay. I guess we're getting out of here then. Golden fortunes, though. No negotiations. Not even a drachme for the man who sent you? The rest goes to pay your debt. These are my terms. Oh, fine, fine. Now teach those strangers what it means to be Kefalonian. Draw blood or bleed. Exciting times ahead. Oh yeah. Level up. Level up. Level up. Swag. I would love to just jump off of more things. Oh, I have to hold it. Fine. Oh, not like that though. Where am I going? Sammy. No. You know what? Phobos will know where to go. Oh, if I can ever get on him. Did I not set the location? Am I not tracking it? I am. Find a nail east off the coast of Kolidai. Where's that? Probably here, I guess. So, Themistocles suggests that they jump in some ships and have a naval battle, but he's not the only leader in Athens at the time. There's another man called Aristides. Aristides the Just, because supposedly he... What? Already? Because supposedly he was very honest. The abandoned house and the people. Okay, let's scope it out. Oh, whoops. Right, and Aristides the Just then, he suggests that it means the wooden walls of the city. Because, I mean, this is Athens pre-Persian War, pre-Golden Age. So this city is pretty much surrounded by wooden walls. Um, so he thinks, oh, the oracle means we should, like, shut up and stay inside, shut ourselves up inside. Psst, basically hide behind the walls of the city and defend from inside. Um, and this is obviously a problem for Aristides. But there's a political thing in Athens at the time called ostracism and essentially people can vote 
to kick or exile someone out of the city for 10 years um, and normally this is, would be like a political opponent or something and so there's a vote hold held and the Aristides is ostracized Aristides is ostracized for 10 years which allows Themistocles to do pretty much whatever he wants and he basically takes the rest of the Athenians except for those priests to Salamis so the priests lock themselves up in the Acropolis and they stay behind you know the wooden walls almost like a double-ended attack just in case Themistocles is wrong and the oracle actually means that the only way to save Athens is to stay behind its city walls Okay. Who's where? Isn't there an easier way to get in? Oh no, I need to kill everyone. Try a different weapon. Yeah, go on then. open I don't like it That's not good either, he's found me. Might have to try and deal with Talos first. There's no way. Oh, he's gone. Come on, big boy. Good 
I just want to spot and kick him off this. Okay, so the priests have locked themselves up in the Acropolis and then Persia comes and raises Athens to the ground, so that didn't really work. Um, and so, um, is he still here? Is he on his way? There he is. Can I just deal with him? I reckon I can take him out. Fine, okay, so now now we're in the Straits of Salamis, right? And Persia has come over with their 1200 odd ships, but these are big, heavy ships, right? And they've been made specifically for traveling across the sea right they're seafaring ships so they're big they're heavy and they're made of wood yeah i would have done come on Anyway, yeah, so big heavy ships, wooden, which got heavier as it absorbed more and more water compared to the Athenian ships, which have been designed specifically for short distances. They've been beached, so they're nice and dry and they're not taking up as much water. So they're zipping around. They're a lot faster and agile, despite the lack of numbers. You know, what? I'm just going to have to take this guy out man let's just not get cocky or anything and he's running away pussy while I wait for him we have this massive battle where we have like a line of Greek or rather Athenian ships uh, close to Salamis and the Persian naval force arriving. Now what Themistocles decides to do is like fake a retreat so he basically orders the Athenian navy to slowly retreat like push back and draw the Persians closer and closer into the very narrow straits with their big lumberous ships then basically what happens is the Persians realize that they're, they're too big they can't move around anywhere they're having difficulties maneuvering and it allows the Athenians to flank them and basically just wreck them and I mean the Athenians their first sort of thing or idea is to attack all of the sort of like commanders right so the commanders are killed and that basically puts the Persian forces into complete disarray right oh he's running okay so they don't know what to do and Xerxes himself he's sat way away from any of the fighting just observing the battle because he thinks yeah this is going to be a pretty easy win and why wouldn't he massive force sweeping across sweeping across Attica really but it doesn't work you know what Themistocles decides to do is counterattack when the winds changed to allow basically the Greek speed Greek ships to speed up and the Persian ships to move even slower than they already were so yeah so the Persian navy is left without any commanders they're too big and heavy to move around and I think it's like the Greeks sank about 300 Persian ships 
and lost about 40 of their own. And this really does break up the Persian attack, like the Battle of Salamis is so important and it just cannot be understated. This guy is just not going anywhere. Come on. I can't stand around all day. Why can't I? Okay. <laughs> that didn't work for me either. Okay, great. So, so Salamis was an amazing naval victory. Like not only for the Greeks, but like just just in history. But it had some really important consequences I think. So first of all, or rather first of all, it strengthened this new idea of Greek democracy. Oh, go on then, go on. Go on, go on, go on. Fight him. I did not see this happening, but I'm not angry about it. What a fortunate circumstance I found myself in. Yeah, okay, so Athenian democracy has been strengthened because anybody could join, right? All you needed to do to win this battle was row. Oh. Job done. Oh yeah, this guy. I normally have someone else do the field work. I don't suppose El Pinor. you know how to get this stain out. <laughs> that Talos just waiting. It comes with the territory. Then you're just the mysterious I'm looking for. A clean slaughter. Very good work. Honestly, Talos is the mysterious you're looking for. You? Not with me. For me. Employees. Now ex employees, I suppose. So you don't work for the Cyclops? Your kind aren't usually believers of myth. Not the monster, the man. You are an outsider. Why are you here? Indeed, I'm not from Kefalonia. I'm here because what I'm looking for is... <laughs> if you'll follow me, Cassandra. Tunnel still there. I guess not. Who are you? How do you know my name? I'm Elpinor of Kira. How do I know your name? I did what you did. I asked and people told me. Tell me who sent you. An inquisitive nature. Good. That will help. This guy you gives me the shivers. Knowing you is in my best interest. And knowing me is in yours. My prized possession was stolen and brought to Ithaca. Penelope's woven shroud. I need Ithaca. you to steal it back. The land of Odysseus. The shroud of Penelope? The wife of Odysseus? You're joking. A piece of it, yes. Impossible. 
If it existed, it would be priceless. Which is why I want it back. Come on. Let's get through this. Let's summarize then. Salamis. So obviously strength, as I was saying, strengthen the idea of democracy. The only thing that Athenians needed to do to win was row. Didn't need to buy anything to row. So everybody contributed to this victory. More importantly, success at Salamis made Athens pretty much the top dog in the Greek city-states and really allowed it to come to the fore as a Greek superpower. So the Battle of Salamis it supercharges Athenian, new Athenian ideas of democracy and pushes Athenians drive towards success and the ultimate creation of its empire. There he is. Is he coming for me? I want to I want to finish him. You know, before I finish today's today's episode. Just want to take him out. Come on in. You know what? I'm not finishing until I've killed this guy. At least the Battle of Salamis during the Persian War summed up. A key battle, definitely. Good example of strategy. And also a really important reason as to how Athens came to be a superpower by the time we get to the Peloponnesian Wars. Oh, come on, come on. I need to change the tactic. I need to draw him to me and then kick him off the cliff. This will do. Oh, he didn't come. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Better like five goes, but that felt good. Oh yeah. I get the Pepka Arena invitation. Warrior. The Pepka Arena is the most competitive arena in all the Greek world. As the last living hero of the arena, I'm seeking the best fighters to compete on the most spectacular of stages for honour, pleasure and drachmi. Your reputation precedes you. Few has slain as prolific what? Prolifically or as poetically as you. Should you be interested, find me in Pirate Point or my associate Mycon in Pepka's warrior rest. Skura, hero of the Pepka Arena. That invite's not for me. Okay. Well, with that resounding victory, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.